Hey folks, Walker Thompson here, Vice President Sales and Marketing at Went to Manage, and really, really excited to show you our new log app. Now, right now it's in beta, but we'll be fully live here and, and at the National Restaurant Show. So please stop by our booth uh, 6750 where you can actually sign up for free. Uh, for our manager logbook. So if you haven't actually seen what logs about, be sure to go to this uh, site here uh, where you can actually sign up and uh, we can ac give you access to the account uh, once it's fully live. Uh, but you can also learn more about what it does right here uh, by pressing play and watching a short quick video. So if you have an account today already, Congratulations, you're one of the few. I wanted to spend a few minutes actually walking through the setup of Log. Now, this is a it, this whole system is designed as a self-setup um, solution here, so it shouldn't it doesn't really require any of our support team's help. It's really just going to be you working through this uh, process here. But hey, it doesn't hurt for uh, to have a little guidance with a little bit of a video here. So I've gone ahead and I've signed up for my account. And this is the first page that you would see after you've completed part of your profile, which includes your username and password, first name, last name, how many locations. So we're going to talk about a couple of the features here as we walk through our setup process. So as you can see, we're on the launch pad, so that's where actually where we're going to start. Uh, we have log and other applications we'll be following here as well. Um, so this is the actual log application. But we need to continue with the process before we go there. So I'm going to go and click on the obvious green button here to set up my account. Okay, so we've got my name. Uh, this is what our organization info is going to be called. So we're going to call it, uh, let's just say we're going to name this uh, Walker's, oops, Walker's Cafe. Okay, and it's going to be a, uh, let's just call it a fine dining restaurant. And if we want to update or add a logo, we can do that here, but we'll go ahead and skip that step for now. Uh, but it's nice, and it's a really easy way to add a logo um, if you'd like. So we'll go ahead and click on next. Now we need our locations. Now when we first launched with the solution, <clears throat> We actually noted that there were two locations. So uh, we can always add more later, but this is what we started with. So we have two locations. We're going to call Walker Cafe, uh, let's say Walker Cafe Bistro and Walker Cafe Restaurant. Keep it simple for now. <laughs> now you can see it did allow me to add on a new location, but right now we're just going to start with these two. So go ahead and click on Next. Now we have our, our roles part of the application. So people can have different levels of, of, of roles here. So you can have an admin, you can have just a basic user. So we're going to say everyone's going to have the same basic access at this point. But if we click on no, we'll have options too. But let's just say yes for now. Okay, now we need to actually give people permissions um, and also invite users uh, to the solution. So I'm going to go ahead and invite my Hotmail account here. And I'm going to make them an admin. And they have access to all locations. I'm also going to invite my Gmail lo uh, address here, my email address, excuse me. And I'm not going to make them an, ad, uh, an admin. I'm only going to give them access to one location. Now, at this point, a lot of my setup is done. So what I need to do next is continue on with the actual log application by creating a couple of the uh, sections here. So I'm going to go and click on log. Now, what you first will see is an introduction page. So it's going to give you you know, ways uh, or opportunities to add sections, uh, create checklists. Uh, Log is a very powerful tool that it gives you the opportunity to really finely tune the organization using web technology. By the way, this is totally available on an iPad. It's the same login access as you see here. And the, the actual screen will scale to the mobile device or tablet that you're using. So it's a really nice tool. So we're going to go ahead and uh, uh, set up our log. We also have a pre-built option, but we're going to make our own setup process here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Setup Log, and we're on the configuration process. So um, now we have some defaults already built in. So this is what we're, we can always add a new section. Right now we have, you can see, morning shift and evening shift. Uh, so it's already kind of giving us some guides on how to start here. So let's just say that we're going to continue on with a couple of checklists here. And we're going to add on, um, let's just say we're going to add a couple of notes here. We're going to take away maybe um, review. Uh, let's say we're going to take out check refrigerators for now. And we're going to add and say, um, here, uh, 
check for the filters. Okay, so we added that section here. Pretty easy for us to uh, ad address this as we see fit. Again, you can see we've got some pre-shift meeting notes. We can always edit this as we see fit whenever we want to. So we can continue on with the check, uh, temperature checklist. We can add a new component if we'd like to as well. So maybe we want to call this, um, uh, let's say it's a, a band um, slash performance updates. Okay, so it could be that it's either a text component, meaning more like we're going to enter in content, or it's going to be a checklist component where we need to make sure it's been done. Now, my idea here with this is that it's about the performances or bands that we're having coming in uh, with the uh, location here. We'll go ahead and add that component. So pretty easy to add new sections, new components. You see we have shift notes here, shift priorities, and then the checklist too. Okay, so here we, we actually hid the setup page here the intro page and we're actually on our log account now so you can see here we've got our morning shift checklist and remember those are some of the defaults here that we've set up um, we have our meeting notes I mean everything we had built uh, in the pre-configuration is already here now you can also see there's a morning shift and an evening shift uh, log um, element, elements here so I can certainly look at those when I'm ready and you can see there's our band performance update so if I want to enter my notes I can start typing in as I see fit uh, let's just say AC um, DC cover band coming to Bistro. Okay, so whenever we're done with that, hey, great, we can update that log note. Now, I wanted to also go to my email inbox here and note that we actually have a um, an invite that we sent out to uh, my Walker Smooth account. <laughs> and I can go ahead and accept this invitation here and move to the next part of my uh, uh, account creation for, let's say, an employee here. Okay, so we're going to log into our account as an employee. Uh, now, if you remember, some people had admin access, some people don't. So it just kind of depends on who's got uh, what in this part of your configuration. I'm going to add in my, my email here, my password, and we'll go ahead and access our account. And there we go. Now, again, some people, like I mentioned, will have administrative controls. Some people will not. But here, what we're going to be able to do is if we were a user of this system, I can actually try out my log as an admin, or I can just see the daily log here. And again, that same checklist is available as a different user. You can see that I'm in the Firefox browser here, so I get the opportunity to use this in multiple browsers. If I go back to Chrome, we're going to see the same thing. But again, we have the settings functionality, and in this respect, uh, you can see here this user does not. So they are just a—they're not an administrative user; they are just kind of a normal user, if you will. So that's log. And we look forward to hearing all kinds of comments about the solution. See if you have any feedback, please email us at support at wintomanage.com. Thank you so much for watching.